Hey everybody, how you going? Steve here, welcome back to Command Center Wargaming. So here we go, I finally finished off my Alpha Legion and here they are on the turntable for everybody to see. So I was really, I'm really happy with the way these guys came out. Um, essentially what I was sort of going for was a little bit of a mix between the, the sort of like an aqua color from uh, the book uh, Teeth of the Hydra. I think it's called Teeth of the Hydra. Uh, it's like a sort of like an aqua alpha legion color and a little bit of a mix of the uh of the new sort of like green blue sort of spectrum uh, armor as well on the alpha legion and a little bit of a mix of the pre-heresy era alpha legion as well so sort of like mixing them around a little bit like that so you can see we've got the plasma weapons we've got some bolters power axe the lightning on it um, we've got the chevrons painted up on the bolters as well, rocket launchers and stuff like that. This is actually a squad that's going to be part of my army. So I've got uh, two five-man squads in, uh, in my main army list, in my Alpha Legion detachment for my Chaos list, which is pretty cool. And um, you also notice as well that uh, some of the uh, bases have ice on them, which I thought was pretty cool because I really thought sort of like that white would contrast with the, the blue and the pink really well. Um, and also, if you notice as well, you know, as I said, the pink, so some of the plasma weapons there are pink also, so which is pretty awesome. Now that was done, in, that was done on purpose uh, to contrast with the blue, which I, I thought was, was pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's, that's them, and uh, happy with the way they came out, and we're gonna you know, proceed on to the dragon now, the Helldrake. And it should be good. Uh, now, to answer Tony Bacconi's uh, question, one of the other videos, I was having a look at my Helldrake. Uh, he asked if I use color shifting paints. Um, I have used them. Uh, there's some documentation on the channel of my experiments with uh, color shifting paint, and that was actually originally what I was going to be using. Uh, but uh, I found that my own sort of version of it, like, is better in my opinion. Uh, this is actually Tamiya Clear Paints uh, using the Forge World recipe with a little bit of mix of my technique in there as well just to change it up a little bit. Uh, there's a few things that I, I went through and, uh, and added to the formula. Uh, so in this instance, yeah, Tamiya Clear Paints, Tony, uh, thanks for asking. And, uh, and like, like the color shifting paints are good. I use Green Stuff World and there's another, there's another uh, paint called uh, Turbo Dork, which are pretty good as well. Uh, both have slightly different effects, but I found that they don't really give you much control as to where the actual color is going to shift. Whereas if you paint it manually, like I've done here, you can actually control what areas you want to reflect, what areas you don't want to reflect, reflect it on, and things like that. So here we have a little bit of a side view of the guys lined up five in a row. Uh, so you can see the front of them there, sort of like putting next to each other, which is uh, pretty cool. And I'll just go through uh, once again, and uh, I'll just, it's pretty neat, pretty awesome, pretty spectacular. And we'll just go and turn this on. <laughs> 